On the agenda tonight, I'm going to be addressing a few comments that were made after my analysis video on Alter Bridge. <laughs> Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So recently on the channel, a week or two ago, we had a look at Alter Bridge and found that their Royal Albert Hall performance that I was looking at was pitch corrected, even though people within the circle of the band and even related to the band denied that it was being used to somebody else who then you know sent me the footage to take a look at what we're going to be doing tonight is addressing a couple of comments but general questions that some people have about the analysis because whenever i do an analysis video i try to think of all the questions that people will ask and then try and cover them in the video so that it makes sense to everybody as to what we're looking at and there have been a couple of questions that I'm going to address the first of which was somebody asking, wouldn't the wind change the pitch of the vocal? And only if the wind was making a whistling sound or creating a pitch itself. And I'm talking about outdoor performances. I know that this was at the Royal Albert Hall, so it was inside. There is no wind. So, yeah, the analysis that I did, uh, even if there were wind, um, wind... If it is silent and isn't creating a whistle, all that does is either speed up sound waves, the, the time it takes to get to your ears, or slow down if it's going against the wind. So it doesn't change pitch. So, you know, pitch is impervious to the wind. So another question that I had in the comment section was somebody asking about using two nights worth of vocals. And I think this is something that maybe the manager said when he stated the vocals from the Royal Albert Hall were made up from the first night and the second night and they were kind of combined to then give you that kind of perfect take so taking the best bits of both of those nights so the person asked how do we know that the audio that is on the crowd shot footage is the actual audio from what we're looking at on the night so I'm about to show you uh, how we know that so what we're looking at on screen at the top it says crowd footage because this is from my previous video but this is the crowd shot footage and the vocal that's being supplied and this lighter one is from the official release on their YouTube channel. So you'll see how they do match up you know, quite well and I will zoom in to show this more clearly but the one point that I did make about the pitch correction is when we line things up, let me get it roughly in the same place, you can see how the lines now are kind of happening in the wrong place. I have to say the wrong place. They're happening in different places. So here, crowd shot footage. And if I bring on the actual released performance and then ignore this at the top, you can see how we're directly over the line there. But then here, you know, we're kind of between notes. So now that we're nicely zoomed in, this was the actual vocal that happened and then the pitch corrected vocal. So you can see how, well, it's been moved and this is something that you will find with this. Obviously, because it's been moved, it's not gonna look the same because one is pitch corrected and one was the actual live vocal. So how do we know that it's the same live vocal? So what I have put together is the amount of time that elapses from one line to the next line on the pitch monitoring software. And you can see that we've got, you know, 1.19 seconds here. And then this line is 1.36 seconds. So it means that we're 17 milliseconds further on. So that's the amount of time we've got between these lines, which means that when we're looking at points on these lines, they are happening for probably a millisecond if not under a millisecond, that's how quick this point happens. So, if you don't know already, I mean, watch my other analysis videos, but it's impossible to sing over your vocal lines exactly the same way twice. It's always going to be different. If you haven't seen my video on Michael Jackson singing the same four words and four, four notes, uh, six or seven times in a row and it all being different, make sure you watch that video uh, because I'm not going to go through that all now. But you cannot replicate it because this is happening. This is 
vocal cord vibrations that are hitting a particular pitch and changing pitch in the, the space of one millisecond. And you can't control your vocal cords for every millisecond because if you could people would be able to sing 100 notes per second and i'm probably going to bring this up on screen in, in future videos to show the kind of detail that we look at these vocals in so anyway back to the point of this the reason that we know that this is exactly the same vocal from exactly the same night and it's just pitch correction that's been applied is because if i now bring in the other vocal obviously it's going to be falling in different places if i kind of move it up you'll see how, you know, it's going to be a little bit higher because this part has been pitch corrected, but I'm going to bring it down so we can see how these two points, and I'm going to move it back a little bit more. So I'm looking at this point here and I'm looking at this point here. I'm going to bring this up and you'll see that it matches perfectly. We're getting point on point. They're literally going over the top of each other. And I mean, the eagle eyed among you will see down here that we've got the same thing happening. We've got a point and a point. And remember, one of these is crowd shot footage. So we've got your know, ambient noise and all that kind of stuff that should stop this from happening. These points are exactly the same. Uh, yeah, which is great. And here, you know, we might have had a little bit of ambient noise, somebody cheering or talking. So it might have started to pick up another noise. But this most certainly, I mean, hopefully you can see this at the bottom of the screen. These points most certainly are happening at exactly the same millisecond. You know, they will be going over the top of each other as we go through. And it's these little things that you notice when you go through it, when you're looking at it in detail. You know, we've got obviously a bit of interference going on here, but this tail end, this part here is not pitch corrected, but of course the pitch corrected version just touches on that line perfectly. So if I were to move this up a little bit like that to get it on the line and then move it across and I'm looking at this little section here that hooks over. If I move it over like this, you're going to get that kind of thing. It's going to perfectly match up with where this pitch corrected version is. And this would only match up if it was to begin with, exactly the same vocal, exactly the same audio. Because again, remember, we're talking about hundreds of a second here. So I don't want this video to go on for too long because we've already done that previous analysis. But this video is just for those people that might have a specific question or uh, one of these questions about the previous analysis video. Thank you guys for watching this video and for making that previous request. As always, let me know what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Keep those requests for future videos coming in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Rock!